here's the thing they are already on social media so whether you are saying oh they would be on social media for security reasons or not they are already on so what you can do as a parent is that when you have the knowledge you would be able to help them to do the settings now my girls were on social media. In fact, none of them, their face is not even on Facebook. If you see my girls' faces, it's me who posts it, honestly. I cannot <laughs> put in the, on their channels, nothing. You wouldn't even know it's blessing. You wouldn't know it's Vanessa because they have other images on them. In terms of settings, on the settings, you can do anything. In fact, social media is the greatest um, tool you could ever find because in terms of protection, because one thing is that their desire is for us to be there to be on social media for as long as possible because we are their money making uh people so when the more people on this platform the more they will make money because uh business owners will advertise because of the fact that people are on this platform for longer for that reason social media facebook for example looks after you whether you believe it or not they look after you they make sure that if you click on this post and say that hide, they will never show you that post or even post from that person. If you hide somebody's uh, uh, comments, that say it won't it won't feature again. If you touch on anything, I always say that the other thing about social media is like a mirror. If you it, it reflects to you what you like. So if you touch on someone's post, guess what? It will continuously show you that person's post until you say, uh, you know, that's it. I don't, I, I don't want to see you anymore. And so for that reason, you have the power in your hand to be able to be secure on social media if you choose to. On the certain side, you can do anything. In fact, this afternoon I blocked somebody. I have, I have always blocked people. If someone is saying even something remotely that I'm not interested in, I'm blocking you straight away. And you know the good thing, Facebook will not even show that person that you've blocked them. So you won't see them again, you won't smell them, you won't see their posts ever. So it, these are all opportunities for us to be safe. Um, you know, and, and for some of your community members, I know that this issue of malams have been a, a, a torn in people's flesh where they are sending you um uh, friends request or kind of posting on or commenting your on your post um just for the sake of it or perhaps for their publicity sake if you smell that just look at that person's name and go to your settings and block them it, it is as easy and straightforward as possible the things that you touch is the things that social media will show you if you don't touch it you won't find it Thank you. Thank you so much for that. So parents, um, I hope we are getting all the tips that we need. So do not be afraid. You know, the reality is social media is here for a very, very long time. Just imagine how social media helped us just to be able to manage people that had businesses. They had to move their businesses online. It's a tool that is so powerful. It's just unfortunate that some people are using it, you know, for the complete opposite. That's not bringing any benefit to them. So, you know, one of the things I use my platform is to create awareness. You know, my platform is to be a blessing. My platform is to inform, is, is to talk about the realities of life. I use the other aspect of my platform, you know, to, to minister the word of God by virtue of my faith, you know, so... It, it is a powerful tool. We can only use it for ourselves. We can use it for our children. So when it comes to the security thing, you don't need to worry. You know, she has just taken us through some, you know, some practical things that you can do. And all those tools are available. All you need to do is to study it. Study them, play around. Actually, I needed to ask, you know, a question. But I think before we go into that, I just want to, want to, to take a viewer's through some of the things that um, you do, Lady Beatrice, because that's part of your, you know, if maybe somebody is asking my children, you know, I can see their future. I can really see them coming through, but I need support and I need help. What can I do? So I just want to take us. Can you just take us through and explain to our viewers 
some of the things that you do and how you can be contacted. I'm going to show the slides now. All right. Okay. Sorry about that. Yes. Yeah, so in terms of what I do, uh, again, as we've been talking along, um, you kind of perhaps have realized that I have worked with my children um, over the years. So again, like uh, Pastor Flores, uh, my children are able to make their own money online and I, you know, without depending on me. And also this, the opportunities here for them is that uh, they can decide to choose what they want to do. You know, for me, for any, every human being having a choice is the best thing ever. Unfortunately for most of us, um, for us from the African diaspora, we did not have these kind of opportunities. We did not have a choice. You just grew up and then you had to study one or two things. Uh, I mean, one subject and that was it. You, um, you are stuck. You don't, you, like 